Welcome to Geneva for the AI for Good Global Summit 2019. I am delighted to be joined by Evert Hasdek. He's Senior Manager and AI Expert at Deloitte. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure to be here. Now, you're here to present your research, and your research is all about bias in AI models. What can you tell us about it? What would be the, the key findings you're going to share with the audience? I think the most important thing to realize is that when you use AI or machine learning, which is a component of AI, if you use machine learning, then any biases that you find in your data is reflected in the models that you develop. So it's not the algorithms or the people that program the algorithms, it's the data that you've collected. And it's important to realize that rarely is the data collected with the purpose of machine learning. The data is typically collected with the purpose of registering our, the actions that, that companies do or that governments do it's as a matter of course and therefore this data reflects all the biases be they human, be they systemic in, uh, in, those, in those systems and if, you, if you're not careful these biases will turn up in the models that you develop. I think that's a very interesting point because quite often, quite often when we talk about AI and ethics, um, we encourage programmers or the people who build algorithms to be careful in their approach. But you are saying that you need to take great care of the data you use and how you do it, the process as well. Exactly. I think the data is the, data is the key to these models. It's the basis of these models. And in fact, it's, the models are no more than statistics, basically, around, around so very complex statistics around these, uh, uh, that based, on this, uh, based on this data. Um, and it, it's important that you realize that when the, data, when the data contains these biases, it will turn up in the models. If the models are any good, you'll, you'll find those biases again. So it's important to check the results of modeling afterwards, not just before you, just before you start, but afterwards to verify that the models are not biased, or if they are biased, to deal with it. Can you share some concrete examples with us of, uh, of data being used uh, wrongly, maybe, or in a very uh, unethical way, uh, willingly or unwillingly, by the way? Well, there's, there's, a, there's a famous example that I, um, uh, 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 that I like by, by a researcher called Rich Caruana. Um, he built a model to, detect, to predict whether people would die from pneumonia. Um, and um, the, the, the model was very good. It reflected, it was better than most doctors at predicting whether, whether people would die of pneumonia based on their medical history, uh, uh, um, all, all, kinds of, all kinds of measurements that they would do. Um, but they also found that this model um, would predict that people with asthma have a very high likelihood of surviving. Um, and that's, that doesn't make sense because asthma is a respiratory disease. Then if you add pneumonia to that, it's, it, it's not two minuses make a plus or something like that. Um, but the thing is that people with asthma are treated generally much more intensively than the average patient. So they go to ICU, no questions asked. And that means that they fortunately have a like, higher likelihood of surviving. But if you were to use that model to then do a triage and decide whether people go to ICU because they're at risk or not, then people who now always go to ICU would, be de would, would not be selected to go to ICU and that would be detrimental for them. So this is not evil, this is not, people, this is not some kind of societal bias or anything like that, it's just a bias that comes from the system and you have to be careful of that. And the thing is you can't always know that the, system, that the machine learning system will pick up on it. You have to check afterwards for those kinds of things and that's very um, uh, important thing to do. It, 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 it can be a fairly elaborate thing, but fortunately the statistics are not that difficult. Okay. Now to um, to sum up, okay, um, I haven't mentioned the fact that Deloitte is actually one of the sponsors of the AI for Good Global Summit. So what would you like one of the key outcomes to be this year? So I think one of the, one of the things that I think is, is really important is that people realise that this is really is that this is an important issue. That's why also as Deloitte we're sponsoring the um, uh, AI Quality Mark together with the Foundation for Responsible Robotics. Um, I hope that people. Are become aware of this. Um, I also hope that they uh, uh, sign the petition for the quality mark that we've uh, that we've uh, uh, put online. Um, that would be that would be the ideal outcome for this part of the conference for me. Okay, Evert, thank you very much. Thank you.